this is a very specific show, whether it's the sound, whether it's the look, whether it's the design. How did you take the podcast and come up with this the way you do the each each sequence, each timeline? It's a really interesting look. Yeah, well, you know, it, that all kind of was inspired by the podcast because I remember when I first listened to it, it wasn't my sort of knee-jerk reaction to just, you know, anything that's good, a book, a, a podcast that you have to now tr adapt it to a television show. And there has to be a kind of a vital reason. And when I listened to the podcast, it just took me back to these old school thrillers that I used to watch growing up, that the Palma films, Pakula, mm -hmm. Hitchcock. Um, and I, I, I knew that I, there was just something about that in the, in the way we could visualize the podcast that could be really interesting. And that's where it all started. And from there, you just surround yourself with great, cinematographer, my production designer, my costume designer, great phenomenal actors, and then they bring in all the specifics, you know, and, and, and contribute to that same vision. Well, speaking of great actors, you are you have some incredible scenes. Oh, with thank you, Miss Roberts. Thank what? You. How did you guys approach this work and the, these two characters? Walter's a fascinating guy. Yeah, I mean, it was a lot of it was a lot of homework, but thank God I had Julia to do it with. I mean, <laughs> honestly, she's she's really. I mean, aside from the incredible actress she is, she's just an incredible person. And for me going into it knowing that we'd have these like seven, eight page long scenes where, you know, we're trapped in a room for like 11 minutes of dialogue. And, you know, you wanna have somebody who you're, you're comfortable with, who makes you feel comfortable. Um, but also it's just great to just, you know, do the, the back and forth tennis, tennis with. And what can I say? I can't say enough good things about her and, and you know, and Sam and, you know, just a really incredible, incredible group. Uh, you were incredible too. It's a Thank really so much. fantastic performance. And you talk about the dialogue. Was it always the idea to do a half hour show? Because I think that's probably one of the best things about it. I <laughs> now, like that. Now, again, going back to what I was saying earlier, there is a knee jerk reaction to, to, in, in adapting it to say, well, you got to stretch it out to an hour long, right? It's a drama. Mm -hmm. And that's just sort of the you know, old way of thinking about things now with streaming and, um, and, and, and how you can kind of mix up formats. Um, you know, I didn't want to extend the story more than it needed to be it was so perfectly drawn in the podcast and you know there was a there was the this issue of two people talking in a room how cinematic is that going to be well i think it's incredibly important to the story i didn't want to sacrifice that but at the same time if i knew that if i kept it at these 30 minute episodes mm -hmm. i don't think i'd wear out the audience mm -hmm. and it actually kind of i was a little bit inspired by this uh show called in treatment that was on hbo years back yeah which was basically every episode was a therapy session and that was also a half hour drama and i have no idea i don't know the the showrunners i don't know if that was part of their thinking but i think that's part of the reason why it works and that's part of the reason why i think it worked here on Homecoming. Well, I think there's also the fact that it, it feels very relevant how veterans are treated right now. This is constantly in the news. and con Was that something that you approached for your performance? A little bit. I think it was more so about the aftermath of that mm -hmm. and, and, you know, just wanting to, you know, be eager to reacclimate yourself, you know. Yeah. Um, less about the, the trauma and more just now I'm in a position where I'm ready to grow and get better and, and, and normalize myself again. So it was more about that, I feel. Heidi Bergman, correct? Yeah, do I know you? Um, I'm Thomas Carrasco with the Department of Defense. You were employed at the Homecoming Transitional Support Center. We received a complaint about that program. Have a seat, please. We can get started. You acknowledge that your participation in the Homecoming Transitional Support Center is voluntary and uncoerced. I just need you to verbally acknowledge that. Oh, yeah, yes, I do. What we need is passion. <laughs> Homecoming is a safe space to process your military experience and think about what comes next. You think they tell us the truth? Kind of do, yeah. How do you know that? Whatever these men are holding on to, that's exactly what we need to know. We're going to keep this locked tonight. You just have to watch everything you say. They don't give a 
shit what it is we were trying to do. I don't even understand what I'm thinking sometimes. Warned him about her. Warned him about what? Who was I? 